Hi everyone, I'm back with another art journal video and I'm working on my dilution art journal and uh, uh, I have put the strip on the on the seam because the last one uh, pushed a lot of color on this next page so just to protect uh, this particular one I'm using this A4 sheet paper which I have glued down to the seam and I'm also wearing gloves to protect my hands from some of the um, mediums that I will be using on the page so I am just starting uh, first with uh, adding this first line of uh, texture to the page And this is how I just use the remaining of the ink on the stamp and then just clean it uh, down with a good wet wipe. Okay, uh, once uh, I've, after making sure that this um, archival ink is dry, I will move on to applying gesso to the page. I did put a thick layer of the gesso which I only realized after I completely dried the page. So the texture is there, but it's not visible that much. <laughs> so while I'm waiting for the page to dry, um, I'm just going to work on this focal um, image. Uh, this is from a decoupage napkin. And what I'm doing is I'm just applying uh, water around it to do a fussy cutting, uh, a fussy pull. So, uh, unlike uh, other art journal, uh, I am going to put this focal image before I start working on other layers. Recently, I have uh, purchased a ton of decoupage napkins. So these are the color I will be using for adding some color to the page. I started with tumble glass, but uh, later realized that <laughs> it was not showing up. So, um, I was thinking of making some texture with the tumble glass and salvage patina, but eventually it was just salvage patina because tumble glass was not showing, it was too light for the page. And as I was saying, um, I just got myself a lot of decoupage napkins, and um, you will see me use them quite often. Uh, so, yeah, just, just a heads up for seeing a lot of decoupage napkin um, art journal pages in the future and this is what I have recently found the way of um, you know using the leftover distress paint um, or any kind of paint just put it on the uh, back side of the decoupage napkin papers and they can be used later on. So I'm using the stamp to add texture to the page. Uh, my idea is to first create a um, shadow uh, of this stamp, stamp and then use peel paint to um, give uh, another texture of the same stamp. Um, you'll just see what I mean. <laughs> So I'm using shadow grey archival ink for adding a very light impression of the stamp.
and now I will do the same with peel paint grey one will act like a background shadow and the actual impression is that of the peel paint so yeah it gives a very nice uh, simple yet a complex texture to the page which I really liked I still felt that the page needed something so I pulled out this microbial stencil from TCW and just made a ray of uh, light sort of impression and uh, somehow it it was like okay that's what the page needed and it sort of finished gave the page the finished touch. I used the peacock feather just to um, frame the edges of the art journal too. And this will be the quote for this page. These clear sentiments are sticky back but I still put a layer of um, a glue stick just to be sure. And I'm going to end it with a little bit of um, items from this botanical rub-ons. So while applying this butterfly, I first thought of um, separating it from the page but then I got lazy and I was like okay, I will use the whole rub on and uh, what could go wrong? Well, something got wrong <laughs> and got this um, little piece stuck on the page and when I tried to remove it, it also removed some of the um, salvage patina from the page so sort of giving meaning to <laughs> this quote <laughs> and here's the close-up guys um, loving all the details which is there on the page and that not so able to see text stamp which I did as the first layer it's there but yeah it takes some effort to see <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless it's looking good I'm happy with uh, the simplicity and the balance of the colors on this page And I'm also happy that uh, the little bit of color which was uh, showing like this on the page on the seam and on the edges of the corner is all marks, masked very well thanks to Gesso. So uh, yeah that, that is good and um, as I was saying that <laughs> this little blooper happened which make the page coat uh, more meaningful. So. <laughs> hope you like it guys this is it if you like it do give it a thumbs up share with friends leave comments in the box below and i'll see you in the next video bye for now